Hey guys, how would you guys like to be paid a little extra money for taking a photo of the restaurant menu when you're already there picking up for the customer? I didn't even know this is a thing and I guess DoorDash is having some of us take photos at a restaurant of the restaurant menu because I guess restaurant menus are inconsistent sometimes when a customer orders, which then in turn makes a bad experience for the customer because what they're seeing isn't on the menu or what the restaurant's currently on. Offering. So they're asking some dashers to take a photo of the menu. Now, I didn't even know this was a thing. One of you guys had left a comment asking if I had ever been asked to take a photo of a restaurant menu, which I have not, not in my market, but some of you guys said you had been asked to take a photo of a restaurant menu. So this is a thing. It's actually kind of cool, a way to make a little extra money. Now, from what I've seen, I've done a little research to it. It seems like it's just a dollar. So if you have this in your market do let me know how much you're paid to take a photo of the restaurant menu this is what it looks like when you are paid for taking a photo of the restaurant menu and you'll see that they were just paid a dollar it's kind of cool if you can make an extra dollar while you're waiting for your order or while you're already there why not um, again it hasn't happened in my market but this is what DoorDash says it says DoorDash is piloting a new optional way for dashers to take menu photos at select restaurants while they're waiting and earn extra on top of their delivery pay. So again, it's to help with inconsistent menus for when customers are ordering. Let me know if this is in your market, but it isn't a bad idea if you can earn a little extra while you're sitting waiting for your order. Hopefully it'll make a better experience for customers that are ordering to have more accurate menus. So we're gonna get these apps turned on. I do have myself, of course, a driver for tonight. The husband is here. Love it when he drives. We're gonna get these apps turned on, see what the first to offer is and get these wheels to move in. All right, guys, got the apps turned on. DoorDash came in right away with the offers. One of them I declined, one of them I accepted. So the offer that I declined was $4.50, obviously, for 4.3 miles. And it was two orders and it was a pickup at Burger King. So that is a no-go. And then they sent me an offer, a more reasonable offer, $8 for 3.8 miles for Popeyes. We are actually already here, so it works out perfect. Um, order isn't quite ready, but we're going to pull up front and I'm going to go in there and check on the order. And um, DoorDash did give me a pop-up. This is what it says. It says frequently missing. Check for biscuit in this order. Customers have reported biscuits frequently missing. Please ask staff for help if you cannot find the item. Number one, the bag is sealed. I'm not unsealing the bag. At least typically it's sealed. And number two, I'm not going to go digging around in the customer's order. Sometimes there's like loose fries, that type of thing. I'm going to ask Popeyes to make sure that the biscuits in there and you know because it's on them to make sure that the biscuits in there um, of course we can verify that the drink is with us because they have to hand it to us so um, that's an easy one because they have a drink as well and I always check for drinks but anyways we're gonna pull up and then we're gonna go in there and check on this order and the order should be close to ready as this is my good Popeyes Hi, yes, uh, for Dirk B. And then they also, DoorDash also want to make sure that the biscuit is included. <laughs> okay. Perfect, thank you. Yeah. All right, guys, order was ready, and I did mention the biscuit to them, and she acknowledged it, so hopefully it's in there. Uh, that's all you can do, and then, of course, I got the drink, so we are good. Customer is seven minutes, 2.9 miles. They seem to be in a house, and DoorDash is providing that photo of the front door, which I love, because sometimes, you know, especially when it's dark out, sometimes it's easier to see or verify with the photo what the front door looks like, but we are on our way. Let's go get them their Popeyes. All right. 
right guys, that order's dropped off. It was super easy to find. We're kind of getting out of this neighborhood, kind of had to go up on a hill. Um, we're gonna see what else we can line up. Nothing's rang in yet, but I am kind of out of the zone for DoorDash. And then Uber Eats is asking me if I'm ready to get back online, which I just did now. Um, so yeah, let you know what we can line up next. All right guys, finally got an offer lined up, but of course had to decline a couple of offers. Uber Eats sent me an offer, $13.08. Sounds nice, but not for 11 point nine miles that was a decline they're gonna send me like further out to where more than likely I wasn't gonna get another offer and if you don't get another offer you guys already know a double the miles to get back to your zone that's a no-go and then they tried again with this offer five dollars seven cents for five point three miles for KFC no-go then DoorDash came in looks like it might be a DoorDash night eight dollars fifty cents for five point five miles um, this is for Baja Fresh we are heading there now and they're pretty good with their orders being ready so hopefully that's the case tonight we're heading there now hi picking up for Lester Lino with DoorDash oh, perfect thank, thank you, you. All right, guys, order was ready as expected. The only thing is, is, you know, with DoorDash, sometimes they want us to take a picture of the receipt. Well, I'm trying to get in the habit of trying to confirm my order when I'm in there because, you know, sometimes you leave the restaurant, you put your order in the hot bag and you're ready to go and then they want a picture of the receipt well they didn't put the receipt on the bag when he handed it to me so i made sure to confirm the order right there just in case i needed a photo because then he's gonna have to hand me a receipt or something to take a photo of but everything was good doordash didn't ask me for a receipt of, of the order this time at least um but anyways we're on our way to the customer nine minutes 3.8 miles and they are in a house so we're on our way Right, guys orders dropped off but <laughs> the customer left what could be some confusing notes especially if you're newer so they have it in DoorDash to meet at door but then the notes below say to leave the order at their door so if you're new how you handle this because you do want to protect yourself uh, against a customer stating that they didn't get their order especially when they have hand it to me and then they have the notes leave it at their door so what I did is I left the order at their door and and then I took a photo, one for my records, and two, to send them a message of the photo with a message that says, order left at door. That way it shows that I have a photo and they also see that it was left at their door because you want to make sure to protect yourself. If you're also looking for another way to be able to record your drop-offs and deliveries, because I get asked this quite frequently, there is a body cam that I have tested out that works great during the daytime as well as nighttime it has a bright light on it so it also acts as a flashlight I'll leave the link down below in the description but that's another way to protect yourself if anybody ever says they didn't get an order or just you know to have a body cam on you while you are out doing deliveries but um, we're gonna see what else we can get lined up and uh, hopefully keep these wheels to moving but just wanted to make sure if you are new you knew what to do in those situations because sometimes it can be confusing all right guys I'll let you know once I get the next order lined up all right Right, guys there was quite a bit of decline and I'll save you on most of it but I will tell you about the bad one that I got eight dollars fifty two cents would be nice if it was like a couple of miles but get this it was for 18.2 miles that is a completely backwards offer you know they shouldn't even be able to send these type of offers out some people will take these not knowing any better that is just a ridiculous offer so i held that as i usually do now the other thing is usually i don't take five dollar offers i usually like to stay above six dollars but i made an exception a five dollar offer came in from uber eats but the mileage is 0.8 miles it is literally right over there so we're gonna go into ma now which is a thai restaurant pick up this order should be ready and go get it dropped off right around the corner we're heading in
Is that it? Okay, cool, thank you. All right, guys, less than a five minute wait for this order, which is a plus. Again, it's only $5. You don't want to be sitting there waiting for a $5 offer. Customer is one minute point six miles around the corner. We're going to go get this dropped off. It is an apartment complex, which I have delivered to many times. Uh, let's go get them their food. All right, guys, orders dropped off, and thankfully, the drop-off location was easy to find. Like I said, I've delivered to this apartment complex many times, and the restaurant had the order ready within reason, less than five minutes. If it was any longer than that, then I probably would have considered dropping the order. Sometimes you just don't know how long it's gonna be, and is $5 worth sitting there and waiting for an order? Typically not. Uh, let me know what your minimum is when accepting an order. Typically, mine $6 made an exception for the $5 order because the miles were so, so low low and I was getting a lot of bad backwards unreasonable offers and um, sometimes you just got to take one especially if the miles are super super low and then try to line up another one right after that but I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys right here always so so much appreciate you guys riding along and of course if you did enjoy the ride along do give the video a like consider subscribing if you haven't already and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one bye guys